Hello, Your Honor, and welcome to Friday. Sunny and sentimental for the Librans today. The moon continues in Aries, your opposite sign, so your emotional focus is marriages and partnerships for another 24 hours. In fact, the moon is crossing over retrograde Venus as we speak, or as I speak, or as you watch right now, which means tonight is an excellent time to invest in a romance, in a romantic marriage of sorts. And if you've actually had someone recently come back into your life, that's probably retrograde Venus. This is an excellent time to rekindle an old affair or partnership. Now today also the sun is ruled by Neptune. So today we are all extra intuitive. This is a meditation day for the planet. This is a day where when we speak to our guides, answers come easier than usual. That's because Neptune is a, like a DSL connection to the other side of the soul collective. So if you meditate today and ask your higher self for some answers, you will receive them. You'll probably receive them instantly right there, but a lot of people don't really trust that first thing. They think their mind's playing tricks on them. So be clear, write your questions down and look for the answers. You'll see them not only in your own heart, but you'll get the answers through friends, you'll get it through dreams. The universe will echo your answers everywhere if you pay attention. Now zip it through the weekend. The moon's moving into Taurus as of tomorrow, so emotionally you might be either randy, sensitive, or both on Saturday and Sunday. If you've got a good, close, intimate partner that you trust, it's going to be a great weekend for connecting with them in a spiritual way. In the same sense, though, you will be emotionally sensitive. So if you're out there and there's a lot of chaotic energy going on in the streets, you might want to go ahead and manage where you place yourself because Librans are already very sensitive to begin with. Then lastly, Jupiter, which is in a great spot for Librans this year. Jupiter in the next seven days is saying it's now time to act on some sort of fortune you want with a personal dream. Time to act. Now, Jupiter's in the space of inner child for Librans this year, saying to every Libran, hey, if you give in to your inner child's desires and really follow your heart and follow your dreams, great fortune will come if you do it this year and this year only. Well, up until now, it's been about removing obstacles and getting rid of stuff in the way of us really being honest with what we want, etc. But now as we're clicking into the end of chapter two, it's time to act. So if you've got a movie idea, act on it. If you've got an idea about someone you think you'd be romantic with, act on it. If your inner child wants something, you should act on it, and let's see what the results are in the next seven to ten days. All right, Libra, that's all I got for your weekend forecast. I'll be back on Monday with more. Until then, live, love, be. So